Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to the last stream. Today, today is July 19th, 2023, and we're doing uh, our patio garden live stream. Scars, little drink, little chit chat, small comic book haul. Uh, should be a nice, fun, chill stream. And uh, it is hot here today. <laughs> it's hot here today. It's uh, it, it is a little bit of breeze coming in, which is nice. When the breeze dies down, the temperature just kicks up super fast because we get cold breezes here. So it's nice. Fed pizza, how are you doing? Salutations, crack. Good afternoon, how are you doing? You're gonna like this comic book haul, crack. You're gonna love it. There's one indie comic book here that you're gonna go ooh snap <laughs> by the way I'm gonna be uh, just drinking Jameson's on the rocks to cool down a little bit I'm gonna I, I didn't keep any extra rice here today it's gonna be melted by the time we finish this so I'm gonna do a run to the freezer and get some more ice uh, after the ice goes bye bye in this one okay i hope you guys are doing well crack beautiful day here in manitoba as well sitting outside listening enjoying cigar nice brother drinking a royal jamaican ginger beer awesome salute to the cigar smoking uh chilling on the patio people <laughs> salute evening elder god how are you doing salutations brother What's the cigar you're smoking? Crack. Uh, enjoying a cigar. I'm smoking. As for the cigar we're smoking, we're smoking a Vigueros. And the name is Entre Tempos. Entre Tempos. Here's the way. This is the Vigueros we're going to smoke. It's like a little bit bigger than a Robusto. Okay. And this is the name of it. Check this out. Just so we know what it is. Because last time I smoked it, I didn't know what the name was. Intra Tempos. It's a nice smoke. It really is a nice smoke. Last few times, I've just been sticking with uh, Vigueros. Crack. Just a backwoods port cigar today. Nothing too fancy. Well, it still tastes good with the ginger beer, I bet. Eh? <laughs> Spicy. Spicy. Lark Bark. Hey, hey. you. Oh, and what's up to your salutations, Lark Bark. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna wait for people to roll in before we get into the business of it, and we'll do our little intro for sensor tube because you know I don't think we'll be able to load this onto sensor tube. Got yourself there, uh, the cigar, nice, yeah, lark bark, yeah. I've been enjoying because uh, I've been saving a little bit of money uh, because I haven't been going to the comic book store, right? So that extra entertainment money that I had sort of budgeted for myself and my life. <laughs> and a little bit of comic books and a little bit of cigar, right? This isn't investment in terms of, because comic books you can consider investment you're, you, and entertainment and stuff like this, but you're taking something and maybe in the future the price will go up, right? But cigars, you're sort of investing in yourself, right? investing in the art investing in your garden investing in chilling and uh just to show you guys check this out check this out went mulberry picking a couple of days ago had picked three different types of mulberries right like i used to love smoking cigars they were my favorite yeah yeah uh, crack got the balance investment with enjoyment 100 percent 100 percent went mul mulberry picking three days ago, two days ago these are one type of mulberries we picked they're really good they're they don't uh, stain as badly as the shotu the persian mulberries right and it's been pretty dry so um these aren't as juicy as uh they can be, but look at this thing. <laughs> Phenomenal. Right? And we picked some Persian mulberries. They're called Shatut. They're like, they're like, like this. I should triple this. 
Like, shaw toots are huge. They're like, here. Maybe like, like this, like this. Like some of them were like this. The shaw tooths we pick, those ones are crazy fragile. You pick them and they go, Psh. if you if you're not gentle, it just goes Psh. all over you. And you're like, the color on my fingernail here, it's like all over your hands. It was on my shirt, it was my, on my head. And those ones, the flavor is insane. Cheryl, just in time. Let's see the purple finger. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I've, been, I've been washing them. <laughs> Right, I don't know if you can see it. It was two days ago when we went picking. These ones are awesome because they got this. All of them have their little tails on them, right? So you don't have to have to get purpley when you eat them. <laughs> They're awesome. And the way we picked these was um, for these ones and for these ones finished dude how are you doing hope you're doing well jelen i'm a simple man as Joe is live my click nice <laughs> i hope you're doing well indeed indeed and then there were these ones these ones are really good too they're phenomenal they're super sweet insanely sweet right but these ones are getting towards the end so they're a little shriveled up <laughs> like raisinish uh, so I'm eating sort of these with a spoon and when I'm, you know, I don't have to have think, clean fingers, I grab them like this, right? Very good. Very good. Very unique. Very delicious. All right? Mm-hmm. So good. So good. And then the... Persian cherry mulberries were those ones we ate at the at the garden that we were picking. I had my ladder up, and oh yeah, by the way, these two uh, uh, mulberries I brought. Uh, this one is more like a shrub. It's a smaller tree or a couple of trees. So we put blankets down, and I would grab a big like a stem or you know trunk of the tree shit the shit out of it <laughs> and the mulberries all f fell down onto the sheets that we had laid out and then we pick you know pick up the mulberries that have landed on the sheets these ones didn't squish they don't get they don't do explosion so that's great for these ones we did the same but these these ones the tree is bigger so i put the ladder up beside the tree and i climbed up the ladder and then went on top of the tree and I got good footing. Be careful climbing trees, of course, right? I got good footing. And then we would, I would, and the, it was big trees, so the branches were really big. And then we sort of line up the sh couple of sheets we had under the branch I was gonna shake and I would just grab it. And shaking tree branches is exhausting. So I would grab it and I would just go whoosh, 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 as hard as I could for, maybe a minute maybe two not even two minutes that, like after it i was like Oof, that was tiring and the uh, ladies in the bottom of the tree would be picking up the i went with a couple of friends my partner and uh, my partner and a friend of hers and a friend of ours and they pick and and one time this one went with a friend of mine actually and they pick up the fruit the persian mulberries were just i just climbed up top of the ladder go up there it's very fragile you can't shake the Persian mulberry tree because the branches are, are brittle they'll break right and you don't really want to climb on top of the Persian mulberry tree because if you put weight on a branch which is which is really not strong enough to hold you it won't go it'll go like it'll crack it'll break it'll fall right so it's very brittle the Persian mulberry tree is very weird right so I just would go up there had a bucket around my neck like a like a string and holding a bucket and i'd like try to pick put them in the bucket climb down and me and the two ladies would be standing there eat the mulberries we get all red i'm all red already and then i climb back up again get more and did that and that's my mulberry picking story from a couple of days ago phenomenal absolutely phenomenal so good so good so good so good 
Lark Park is too bad. I'm not your neighbor. I would have been over there right now. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Salud gang. Welcome to our live stream. I had to tell you the mulberry picking story. It was awesome. Like, we went phenomenal. And from what I understand, uh, mulberries, diabetics can eat them too because it doesn't spike your insulin. Oh, I think it's the insulin. I'm going to light up the cigar and then we'll do our little intro um, for uh, before we cut it on the sensor tube. Right? Phenomenal smoke. And the cigar guy is uh, really nice. He goes, Oh, look at this. It's got a little crack here. I'm going to give you 10% off the cigar. I want, you know, you don't have to. It's all good. He goes, No, no, I'm going to give you 10% off. So he gave me 10% off. So it came out to like 30 bucks. Right, Cheryl, I'm sure there was a ton of laughter involved in the way harvest should be. Indeed, it was medicinal. It was phenomenal. We were, we, we, we put one in our mouth. We'd be like, oh, this is fantastic. And then people would be walking by. What are you guys doing? Picking mulberries. We'd give them a little bit of mulberries. We had a, at one point with this one, actually with the other one too, with this one, we had three kids hanging around us that, from two different parents and the parents were standing just letting the kids do their thing and they came and stayed uh, hung hung around us under the tree and the mulberries were falling and then one of the kids was phenomenal he was in there all in <laughs> purple everywhere right the other two kids it was a brother and a sister they were just waiting there and you know i go up i go up you guys want mulberries they're like yeah and then I give the girl mulberry, right? She she eat it. I give, and the brother was sh smaller. <laughs> and I say, you want mulberries? You go, yeah. And he kept on picking them. Kids are hilarious, man. And his sister was eating them as I was giving it to her, right? She, I would let her pick. The other one, I was giving handfuls and all over his face, everywhere, right? <laughs> These two, brother and sister, I would hold it out, and the girl would pick a couple and eat it, and I would give it to the hold my hold out my hand to her brother younger brother and he would pick but he wasn't eating him i noticed this. he was holding him in his hand after a few times they were gonna go she had eaten all of them right he had two hands full of mulberries going like this it was hilarious it was funny he's a, he's a prepper he's a prepper he's he's not gonna eat it all right away he's gonna save it uh, sister like an eat away the other one is chaos uh, it was funny it was fun it was a good time good time you ever get a chance go fruit picking especially if there's kids around and stuff like this they'll give you uh, the joy of uh, uh, childhood if you if you're missing it uh, the beauty of childhood and innocence and joy of the simplest things in life right it's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. Right? The parents were laughing. Oh, I forgot to cut it. And the kid that was chaos, that was just all over the place. Right? His dad was, uh, okay, we need to go now. And I said, oh, okay, come on. G give me your hand and I'll pour some mulberries in your hand and you can go and eat along the way and take some to your mom and the kid goes i got two hands <laughs> he comes up and holds up his hands like this you could see the pride in his dad right it's like yeah man my kid's smart he fucking right away i got two hands not one fill it up <laughs> it was so funny so funny so funny Cheryl, I'm sure there was a ton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ad adiopolis. It, adiopolis. 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 Hi, Chicho. Is that a cannabis plant beside you? There's, there's four cannabis plants beside me. There's one here. There's another one here. There's another one here. I think this one is a male. I'd have to take it down. And then there's another one back there. The little guy. Indeed. Indeed.
Fett Pizza. Salute. I'm enjoying my homemade cherry meat. Nice. Delicious. With honey. Nice. Nice. Cheryl, I finally broke into the Blackberry Jam. Thank you, Eduardo. Awesome. Had an awesome um, Pete B and J while in uh, the field yesterday. Pete B and J. I know that name. What is Pete B and J? You just cracked open the Blackberry Jam. Was good. It uh, it it's preserved well. Yeah. Ellen, eager to smoke. That I see. Uh, I see boss money. <laughs> <laughs> also chicho are you gonna uh do more math soon i yeah i i will i'm just burnt out from the math because i picked up a lot of students this year and as you you might be able to tell i'm a little like exhausted from the school year so i'm sort of trying to rejuvenate uh, i was hoping to get more done during you know the first three weeks i guess we're into three weeks in july but uh I had family visit when I visited family we've been crazy busy my partner's pr playing a ton of gigs so we've been going to uh, some shows went to a festival already I'm like Oof, I need a little breather man <laughs> this is my breather here salute but a hundred percent challenge I actually I'm sort of one of the reasons I've been holding off is because I want to start writing getting some of the text down for the modules that I want to write for mathematics. So I need to go through some, you know, figure out which module I'm going to go first. I've narrowed it down to like three different ones, right? Take a look at the videos I have, do a little bit of intro write up. And then during the math live streams, fill in the gaps between the videos that we need and then do the full writing, take the previous videos, cut up the new videos, put it all together, poof, dump out a module. That's my plan, my grand Chicho design. Let's see how, fa how fast and how well we can get it done, right? Mr. Izakaya, I blew a tube on my mic oh, last night and had to carry my mic 3.5 miles. At least it wasn't raining, yikes. I hope it was an uphill. Peanut butter and jelly. Is that what you're eating, Mr. Hezekiah? Peanut butter and jelly. I'm eating mulberries. Mulberries we picked. Look at this deliciousness. And I got some uh, watermelon here too. Will this focus? Look at that. That looks like the eyes of an insect looking at you, about to eat you. But we're going to eat the mulberries first. Oh, PB&J, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Okay. Cheryl, peanut butter. I had an awesome peanut butter and jelly while in the field. No, PB&J is a drink, isn't it? Whiskey or something? It was. It is peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Peanut butter and PB&J. Thanks, Mr. Hezekiah. Cheryl, it was delicious. Nothing like taking, uh, plopping, taking plopping down in an, um, in an, a shaded hillside with a great view while munching on childhood free with with jam from 2,000 miles away nice with the blackberry jam peanut butter and blackberry jam word salad dish salad <laughs> have I had my blackberry jam with peanut butter I don't know if I've had that should go on my bucket list and gang we have a small comic book haul okay Aside from that, my little intro. My stories take a while. 20 minutes. Wow, wow, wow. Gang, if you want to know what this work is about, I'm on Patreon. Substack, subscribe, star. You can follow the work there. For those of you that are supporting this work on Patreon, Substack, and on Twitch, where we are live streaming, thank you very much for the support. It is in large part because of the support we're getting on these platforms, plus Sensor2, plus other means, plus all these platforms that we are active on and our little discord dis uh, gilded server gang thank you for the support thank you for being here thank you for participating in our little uh delicious community i hope you're enjoying uh, your participation aside from that uh gang on sensor tube i'm sorry this is an open discussion 
on our patio garden, enjoying a cigar, having a drink, eating mulberries, maybe munch on some uh, watermelon. But uh, we can't load this on in its entirety on SensorTube. If you want to join us, links in the description of this video to Bitchute Rumble and Odyssey, where we have the full live stream. Salute.